Hey everybody, it's Cosmo the Cody here, and welcome to my look at May's Humble Monthly Bundle. This month we've got nine whole games to look at, so I'll get straight into it with my our first game, which is Infinity Factory. Now, Infinity Factory is by the same people that made Space Chem and Infinity Miner. It's a puzzle simulation game where you basically construct a fam factory to build things that the alien overlords that have obviously taken over have are demanding and if you, in a basically attempt so you don't die. It's actually set at the moment 1899 on Steam. It's got some overwhelmingly fantastic reviews. The only thing I could actually find that was any uh, anything quite critical about the actual uh, game was actually that sometimes the camera is not very useful and the, there's some you sometimes miss bits to do with the actual the the actual construction sometimes you miss bits because you can't see them very well but other than that I couldn't find really any kind of issues with the actual game so definitely a good thing there you go you can best say 93 out of 100 by PC Gamer and like I said overwhelmingly positive on Steam seriously we're talking high 80s and even 90s depending on depending on how you read Steam's review system which has changed fairly recently but I'll, that's that's something else completely different cool is our second game and it's a local multiplayer sort of dungeon crawler which has a little bit more a little bit of a difference in that the other player one player plays as the hero and the others play as sort of spirits which can take control of the monsters in an attempt to actually kill the player succeed and you switch places and the winner is basically who scores the most and gets to the end portal of the game now this game actually recently was um was it recently in, in the press because it actually wanted to depict the one and truly god Gabe Newell in the actual game, and they actually went to Valve and actually and and requested permission for his actual likeness to be included in the game. And if I actually turn off this video, I can actually show you it's right there. That is Gabe Newell in his in, in his dual wielding knife self, and you actually get to fight him as part of the game. It's six ninety nine on Steam, and it's. It's pretty. It's, it's got some quite good reviews. It's a procedural system, so all the dungeons are all randomised and all everything. The one biggest criticism is that it's only local multiplayer. There is no online multiplayer. Now, the good news is that this game is only on is still early access, so it's not completely finished. There is talk about implementing an online multiplayer, but at the moment, it's mainly just talk. So that's something to be aware of in terms of this game. But overall, it looks pretty good. It's six ninety nine on Steam, so that it's a good price considering. Third up, we have a game which, uh, depending on how you pronounce it, is Galax Z or Galax Z. It's an arcade space sim space shooter game where you basically fly a spaceship around, fighting off enemy enemy spaceships, and it would also transforms into a robot with a sword. It's got a, apparently got a good storyline. It's got some good reviews. The biggest complaint about it is that it, the ending of the game, which they don't really spoil, in that it doesn't actually have one. It has it's sort of split up into seasons, and it's only very recently that a DLC has come out. It actually came out on May on May sixth, which was actually the day that this bundle it came this bundle was released. So it may actually be that there is now an ending, but it's got some good reviews. It's eighty two percent on Metacritic, and. Can, Again, again, quite it looks quite a cool looking game. If it's not, it doesn't look like a bullet hell kind of one, but it um, apparently it's sort of got lots of RPG elements in it and other bits and pieces. So it's definitely an interesting kind of, kind of look at, and especially with the graphic style, which looks pretty good in my opinion. Anyway, all right, moving on. Our fourth game is Jump Jet Rex, which quite simply is a 2D plat action platformer. With 16-bit S graphics, we basically take control of a dinosaur wearing jump jet boots. What, what, what else could go wrong? You know, what, what else could you ask for? Um, you basically take on enemies and try and save the world from being destroyed by an asteroid. It's got some good reviews. It's 76% on Metacritic. It does have local multiplayer for, for if you want to um, essentially take on and race each other and play each other in this game. Beyond that. Not much more I can say about that, so we shall move on. Franbo, which sounds like a very strange drink, is um, <laughs> oh sorry, Jump Jet Rex and Galaxy is six ninety nine. I must remember the price. Well, I don't have to because that's kind of the problem with this bundle, but I'll get to that later. Franbo is 
kind of it kind of reminds me a lot of American McGee's Alice. It's a, a sort of adventure game which a point and click adventure game which has horror elements in it, in which basically it tells a story of Fran, a young girl who's struggling with a mental disorder and trying to make sense of her parents' murder. And it involves, as you can see, by the some rather gory looking violent at scenes. It's got some good reviews, it's 70% on Metacritic. It looks quite interesting, but beyond that, you know, it's a point and click adventure game, so it's not kind of the same sort of action y, platform y kind of esque. It's sort of a change of pace for this kind of bundle. Definitely worth a look at, I think. Uh, I've started the video too early. Moving on, then we have got Abe's. Abe's Odyssey, the old Odd World Abe's Odyssey, and this is the new and tasty version, which is basically a remake of the puzzle platformer which came out in 1997. Yeah, 1997, almost 20 years ago, which is kind of scary because I was around for that kind of for the game when it first came out. It's a puzzle platformer where you play Abe, an alien who is one of many aliens enslaved by another race of aliens, and you set about trying to rescue your fellow aliens from slavery. Utilize by solving various puzzles and essentially using special powers that Abe has. It's got new graphics and new locations uh, compared to the old game. So although it, do, do, it is a remake of the old game, it is a new game in itself. Definitely, if you're a fan of the, the games, definitely are worth a look at. But beyond that, it's... I don't know. I've actually played the original. I wasn't... I wasn't that impressed with it, if I was honest. It's, it's kind of some people love it, some people don't love it. It's one of those things. It's forty ninety nine on Steam, and I'm gonna. Uh, it's not a bad deal at all, really. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh -huh. So nineteen ninety three. Um, this one's a bit of a a chalk and cheese kind of get, game. Essentially, it's called 1993 Space Machine, and it's essentially a game that mimics a sort of the, the old-style space shooter games like Gradius, R-Type, Life Force, that that kind of game. It's got some fairly good reviews, but a lot of people cite a lot of problems with the controls, and that you have to use the keyboard or the mouse, and the, the joystick and the joypads aren't really that good up with it. Um, and it has a distinct lack of originality, as you can maybe able to see from that. It's it, it looks as old as it's supposed to. It looks exactly what it's supposed to look like, which is like it's like from 1993. But the problem with that is a lot of people see it as a very old and very used kind of game. So it has any it has a distinct lack of originality. Beyond that, it's 9.99 on Steam. Not bad, you know. It's not bad, it's, and it's got positive reviews, so you can't complain too much. <laughs> Now, of course, the game that was teased last month for this month's bundle is Mad Max. Um, and that's the wrong video. Mad, made by Warner Brothers last year, and one of the few things they actually released on PC properly. Again, this, this game is an action sandbox game with driving, so very similar to sort of Rage, but more of a sort of um, third-person-esque adventure. It's completely separate from the actual film that was actually released. Unfortunately, it was actually released later on after the film, so the actual sort of tie-in didn't really work for it. It's a you get basically to play as Max and in a separate storyline from the actual film. You're trying to survive in the world using a variety of combat and driving skills. To survive. It's got some great reviews. It's 73 on Metacritic. One of the biggest criticisms of the game, and I think I said this last month, is that it takes a while to get into. It's not until you get to the second half of the game that the actual story takes off and you actually get get into it very well. It's getting through all the sort of general um, fluff at the beginning that takes a little while and can make players sort of not be that interested in playing. But overall, the game's got some quite good reviews on Steam, and it's definitely one of the exp most expensive games in the bundle at 34.99. So, all things considered, not a bad deal whatsoever. Finally, then, we've got the Humble original game. So, they're a little indie game, and it's essentially what looks like an old-style sort of um, console game or computer game where you basically play as a young elf, and you have to use, using a variety of different weapons and choosing your side, you take on monsters and... <clears throat> Excuse me. You take on monsters and try and save the city. It, generally, that's pretty much as far as it goes in terms of what the storyline is. Because I, beyond looking at the actual blurb on the actual um, 
site, I can't tell you much more than that. And as you can see there, you can actually change the different sort of graphic styles, how it looks like, We've got sort of TV styles, CRT styles, and so forth. So it's look, it's it's designed to be a, a very sort of to sort of look like a classic game on well, it's not even 16-bit, is it? More 8-bit or 4-bit or whatever you want to call it. So that looks pretty cool. But whether or not that's going to be a kind of game, I don't know. It's not really my kind of game, but we'll see how it goes. And that is it for all nine games. So next month, they're tantalizing you with Rocket League, which sadly for me is not really that tantalizing because I bought it when it was um, when Steam did the free weekend a few weeks ago. So not much. That's not really a big thing for me in terms of that, but it does mean that I will have an extra key to give away, hopefully, next month. And usually I don't do giveaways. For the, the, the reason is I see them as sort of um, a blatant attempt to sort of get people to like videos and subscribe and so on. But I'm going to bite the bullet and actually say, OK, if you want to enter a, comp a get my giveaway for it, it will be in next month's bundle. So that's about it, guys. Now, as always, let me know what you think about this video. Some people have said that it's a bit pointless, as basically I am explaining this is what you could have had had you actually subscribed to the bundle, which I've always stated in the first place. That is not exactly why I make this video. I make this video to sort of give you a, just a general look at what is in the actual bundle. And considering I paid $12 for all of this, I'm not saying it's a bad deal whatsoever. In, in most cases, I've said it's a good deal. This one's a bit more diverse, I think, as opposed to the previous bundles. You know, there's the main game isn't necessarily a triple A game, but then it never really is. But then compared to South Park last week, last last week, last month, sorry, Mad Max is not necessarily as big. But that depends on your point of view more than anything. So, but anyway, the usual sort of stuff, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, dislike if you like. And as always, I will always respond to any comments you do make or questions you do ask. So, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little review of this month's humble, month, humble monthly bundle. And I hope to see you next month for not only another review, but also hopefully a giveaway of Rocket League. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.